I'm going to show you now how to manage the progress of your property inspection reports when submitted through the paperless process through Imager Hive. So once your report is ready to be submitted to the tenant for them to sign off and complete and feedback on the report, you'll see the progress of that report on your Imager Hive dashboard. So I'm just going to submit this report off now and then an email will be sent to the tenant to sign to confirm safe receipt of their report. You can clearly see the progress of the report along this taskbar here. So you can see the date it was submitted, the date of when the tenant signs to confirm receipt of that report, the date if the tenant provides feedback if applicable, so I'll show you that in a second, and then the final date when it was approved. So what I'm going to do now is, as a tenant, sign off the report. So I've just quickly signed off the report from a tenant's perspective. And I want to refresh that. You can clearly see that's been updated. So you can see the tenant has signed to confirm safe receipt of their report. But at this stage, they're not confirming the contents of the report, just simply to sign to confirm safe receipt of that. Once the tenant has signed that, you will get an email notification just like this saying the tenant for the relevant property has signed to confirm safe receipt of their report and you're able to hand over the keys to the property so they can get moved in and provide feedback on your property inspection report you've created. The tenant will then have a set amount of days to get moved in, get settled in the property and then provide feedback on your property inspection report. On my account, it's set to nine days, but you can edit that. And the usual standard is seven days. So they'll have seven days or nine days in this case to get moved in and provide feedback on your report. If they do provide feedback, your report will go orange. So what I'm gonna do is refresh that now. My report's gone orange, and that means the tenant has disapproved with something with regard in your inspection report. They're not criticizing the report, they're actually adding further evidence into the original checking report, so it all gets audit trailed and reduces the chance of a dispute at the end of the tenancy. If I pop over to my emails, you'll also get an email notification advising you that the tenant has disapproved something on your report and to check your image or hive account to see what that is. So to check that, all you simply do is click on the little cog here and respond to tenant's comments. It will then show the section that the tenant has disapproved. So in this case, the tenant has noted in the toilet on the wall that there's a hole in the wall. As originally it was noted, it was free of marked stains and scuffs. So you can have a look at the photograph the tenant has provided as well, and you can agree or disagree to those comments. If you agree with those comments, you mark it as yes and explain that this will get added into the report. And then you can include the photographs as well. You've also got the facility to raise this issue for maintenance as well. If it needs repairing, if it, whoever's responsibility and approximate cost. And if you've got an integration with Fitzflow as well, you can send it directly to your Fitzflow account. You just click save and continue and, the, and complete the report. And that report will get completed. So then that will get saved on your dashboard. If I refresh my screen now, the report goes green. The tenant will get an email copy of their report sent to them automatically and you can access the final contents of your report from the dashboard. So I'm just going to download a copy of that report now, hit the download button and it will bring up the final PDF copy. And if, then if I scroll down to the toilet section of the report, wherever it is, you'll also get an email notification as well saying the report has been completed and then you can clearly see the tenant feedback in the report. So it's nice, simple and easy. It's all audit trailed within the report and you can manage the progress of your reports from the dashboard very easily.